I haven't done anything like this in a hot minute, so I might be a little out of it. Um, anyways, welcome to my video where, uh, I do my makeup using products from only, like, shady companies or products from companies that I used to like but don't really like anymore or products from companies that I didn't like but now I like now. Also, you might end up seeing my camera angle change a few times during this because like I don't know where to set my phone. So anyways, let's get into it. Um, We're gonna start with this foundation which is from L'Oreal. What did L'Oreal do? Well, um, you see, they have sold skin lightening products before. Um, and I've heard that they've done some kind of like racist and shady shit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start with this. I'm not even like a huge fan of this. I use it for face paint mainly or when I want to look like a fairy because it's got like little tiny glitters in it. So I'm gonna set this with, um, this Kat Von D, uh, Locket translucent powder. This is a sample. By the way, uh, this is that one thing in here from the company that I didn't like, but I now like. Um, so Kat Von D no longer owns her company. They rebranded to KVD Vegan, um, and so I feel much more comfortable buying from them now. The weirdest thing is to, like, avoid purchasing from them and, like, get the most out of their products so that, like, I wouldn't have to buy from them. So, um... We're gonna go in with um some Jeffree Star. What has he done? He's racist, uh, racist. Uh, literally anywhere that YouTube drama is, he's there. Uh, so yeah, uh, Jeffree Star. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put dupes at the end. So um, the reason why I liked Jeffree at one point was because Shane Dawson's series made me like respect him, but like. I still don't really like him that much as a person because like and legitimately everything he does drama will always follow and it's just kind of annoying and like now I just don't like him that much at all like I don't like Shane or Jeffrey so, anymore. So now that I look like the missing member of My Chemical Romance I'm gonna go in with this MAC palette. What has MAC done? They're donating to Trump's campaign. Um, basically any company that Estee Lauder owns is donating so that is Smashbox, MAC, Estee Lauder itself, um, uh, Bobby Brown, I, some other companies that, like, I have never bought from or never really heard of, like, go look it up, I guess, like, because, like, I don't know it, but, like, yeah, no, they're donating to Trump's campaign, so this is why this is on the Besides donating to Trump's campaign, MAC has also done some really weird stuff as well, like, they claim that their frogs are vegan, but then they're like, we're not really vegan, but we are vegan, but we're not really vegan, but we are vegan. Um, now I'm going in with, once again, Jeffree Star, um, for my eyebrows. Yeah. Hey guys, guess what we're doing for blush? More Jeffree Star. Wow, who would have thought? So now that I look like I'm sick, I'm gonna make myself look like I'm oily with some highlighter. Um, once again, MAC. Guess what I'm doing for my lips? Yeah, more Jeffree Star, but also, wine crime. I actually, this is actually um, not mine. Um, it's my girlfriend's, but she also like had no clue uh, that they were problematic. Um, the owner of the company is anti-Semitic uh, and also racist. Um, but also on top of that, if you order from them and your package gets lost in the mail, um, and you like message the company, they will just be like, mm, sucks to suck. Yeah. Like legitimately. Like they they won't refund you or anything. Instead of talking about Jeffrey on this part, I'm gonna talk about lime crime. So one year their owner legitimately dresses as Hitler for Halloween and then also like there's like rust and mold at the bottom of their pans and their palettes all the time. Like legitimately. And they just treat their customers like trash. They're also just super unoriginal. Like name a palette something else besides Venus. I look like a wreck. I look like a Christmas tree vomited on me. Um, I think the only thing that would save this look is um, some lashes. 
but I'm not gonna do lashes. I will do eyeliner though. So, Kat Von D once again, or KVD Vegan. I'm still getting used to saying that. So, um, I think I'm done. So, uh, I'm going to show you dupes for everything that I can find dupes for that I currently own. Just a warning, some of the items that I may show you that I have dupes for, um, the dupes may not be available anymore. Um, because sometimes makeup brands, cosmetic brands retire retire certain palettes, retire certain makeup, and some of it's just limited edition. And I'm really sorry about that in advance, but I will show you what I can show you, and maybe you have some of these products. So, Maybelline's Limited Crease Palette. A lot of really, really good dupes for the Blood Sugar Palette. Some of the dupes in here aren't necessarily dupes. Like, they aren't exact, um, but they are very, very similar. Okay, so. Everything on top is going to be Lemonade Craze, and then on the bottom is going to be Blood Sugar. This one, this one's Ice Pop, this one is Prick. This one is Sweet Tea, and then this one is Ouch. This one is Coral Punch, I'm really sorry you can't see this. And then this one is Chum Pop. And then this one is Strawberry Lemonade with a little bit of ice pop on top of it, and then this one is sweetener. Next thing I'm gonna compare some of these products to is the BH Cosmetics Bring Me Back to Brazil palette and the BH Cosmetics Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. Either of the BH Cosmetics Bring Me Back to Brazil palettes have shade names, um, so I'm just gonna say this one's the BH Cosmetics one and this one is the Jeffree Star, MAC, whatever. This one is BH Cosmetics, Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition. This one is Candy Floss from Blood Sugar. This one is from the Bring Me Back to Brazil palette. This one is Cavity from Blood Sugar. This one is from the Bring Me Back to Brazil palette. And this one's the MAC one, like from the Pretty and Funk palette. Um, and then this one is Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition. This one is the green one from the Pretty and Punk MAC palette, and then this one is from the Bring Me Back to Brazil palette, not the Rio edition, and then this one is Blood Sugar from the Blood Sugar palette. This one's from an Ulta palette. I have no idea how I managed to obtain this. I think it was a free gift, um, but it is Rock and Roll, um, and it is a dupe for, um, it's a dupe for Extraction from Blood Sugar. This one is from um, the Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. This one is uh, from the MAC Pretty and Punk palette. And then this one is Oral from Mini Breaker. This one is from Bring Me Back to Brazil. This one is from, um, this one is Purple Punch from Mini Breaker. And then this one is Root Canal from Blood Sugar. This one is Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition, and this one is from Max Brazil. So um, these next brands, uh, they are actually a British brand, but they sell at Walgreens like during Christmas and like advent calendars. All the stuff that I have from them is from advent calendars, and they're super, super nice. Um, it's called Sleek. Um, this one is a blush in the shade rose gold and it is like almost a perfect dupe for sweetener from the blood sugar palette um this one is this one is from another sleek palette um and then like none of none of the sleek palettes have names on the things for some reason but they do for blushes and lipsticks and stuff um and then this one is donor from blood sugar Y'all are gonna start noticing that, like, I don't have that many dupes for the nude shades, and y'all are probably gonna be like, why is that? The answer is, I don't use nudes, so I tend to not own any. <laughs> so, once again, we're gonna be getting back into palettes that, like, are discontinued. Um, so, uh, this top one is 
Storm King from the My Little Pony movie palette by Pure. I wonder if Pure is doing anything controversial. Hmm. Uh, once again, I complain about this palette all the time. I don't really recommend it. I had to layer on so much in order to get it like this. And then the bottom one is from uh, the MAC Classic Beauty palette, um, which is it's not really there, but it's almost there. Um, and then the next one is from this big freaking elf palette. Um, and then this is um, Hot Fudge from Mini Breaker. This one's definitely warmer than this one, but you know, it works. It's it's okay. It's similar enough. Um, this one is from uh, the NYX Ultimate palette. Um, and then below it is Foreplay from Mini Breaker. Um, and then after that, we have this from the BH Cosmetics Bring Me Back to Brazil Rio Edition palette. And then under that is the Big Pan from Max Pretty and Punk. Um, and then right here we have Bring Me Back to Brazil. Uh, and then here we have Orange Crush from Mini Breaker. This one is also from Bring Me Back to Brazil. Uh, and then underneath it is Double Scoop from Mini Breaker. Buy some red cherry flavored lip gloss and put some red cosmetic water in it and boom, you have whatever the hell this lime crime shit is. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of the lipstick that I have, I can't, like, find a dupe for, which is really weird. Uh, unless it's, like, any of these fucking bright red shades. I have, like, the pink and red mini box set for uh, Jeffree Star lipsticks. So, this one is Maybelline um, in the shade Red Rival. Uh, and then this one is... Jeffree Star in the shade Red Rum. Uh, this one is CoverGirl, and I have it there because it, it, it's a dupe. It, like, it's pretty close to both of them. I don't know why I didn't do it on the side that time. I'm a little bit stupid. This one is an Ulta one in the shade Mischievous. It's a dupe for Calabasa. Um, and then this one... I completely forgot to do um, stuff about Too Faced. Um, so this one is Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild is a little scandalous in itself. Um, they were caught selling in China. The shade Unicorn Soul. Usually they only sell it like around like Halloween. So like get your hands on it when you can. Um, but it is a, like almost a perfect dupe for uh, Too Faced's Unicorn Tears lipstick. Um, this one is another um sleek um product and it is in the shade roja red i can't pronounce spanish names i'm assuming it's spanish uh and this is it's Anne nicole <laughs> um and then this one the lipstick that i swear by i don't even think that they sell this anymore um it's perfect tone matte lip color you can literally buy it at the dollar tree uh it doesn't ever wipe off like it does wipe off but like if you bite into something greasy it's not probably not gonna come off uh and then it is a dupe for prom night <laughs> i'm really really sorry about the other products that i can't find dupes for um a majority of the stuff that i can't find dupes for are like a nude i was sitting there trying to find a dupe for some of the brown shades um, in Blood Sugar, and I could not for the life of me. Um, I'm sure there's a dupe somewhere out there. I just don't own it. Um, for a lot of products that I just showed you uh, from problematic companies, uh, there's probably a dupe out there that I just don't own. Um, if anybody knows any dupes uh, for any of these products that I didn't have or didn't list, um, drop them in the comments. Um, <clears throat> anyways, um, Too Faced. I didn't talk about Too Faced. I didn't mention how it was a good dupe, how that Wet n Wild lipstick was a good dupe for Unicorn Tears. So, what has Too Faced done? They're transphobic. You know, like, the founder or whoever runs it, like, 
when Nikki Tutorials was forced to come out, um, they posted something that was like transphobic and disgusting. I used to really like them. It was mostly because of the aesthetic of the products. Like I really liked how their blushes were like heart shaped. Um, but uh, as you can see, a lot of aesthetic companies like really, really sketchy, um, like Lime Crime, their makeup is like, the packaging is really, really cute and all, but like their owner is just a disgusting person and they just don't handle things very well. So yeah. Thank, thanks for watching. I don't I don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know how to do outros. I'll never learn how to do outros or intros. So, goodbye.